Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at exactly why Traxxas only offers one line of C ratings throughout their entire product line of LiPo battery packs. Before we get started, a shout out to all the patrons of the channel. Thanks a lot for your continued support. It is greatly appreciated. Now you may have hopped onto the Traxxas website. You just upgraded one of your radio control vehicles by putting a higher performing power system in there and you wanted to go and level up your battery pack so they can deliver more power as well. You come onto the website and you realize that they only offer 25 C rated packs. And you ask yourself, why exactly is that, that you can only get a 25 C rated pack for your specific vehicle from Traxxas? Well, we're gonna look at this for three specific and primary reasons as to why Traxxas only sells the 25 C rated pack. Let's get started and take a look at our first reason. Our first reason is Traxxas power systems within all of their ready to run vehicles have been designed in such a way where a 25C battery pack is going to give you exactly how much performance, reliability, that Traxxas has engineered and designed into their radio control models. It takes a certain specific C rating in order to maximize the amount of reliability, the best cost being economic for all of us to be able to buy, as well as the performance characteristics of our radio control vehicle. Designers of the Traxxas vehicles have to take all of this into consideration in order to provide the best power system or even the best battery packs so that they can sell them to the mass market. What this essentially means is that you don't need any more than the 25C rated battery packs that Traxxas has to offer to get the intended amount of performance that has been designed and integrated into all the radio controlled Traxxas line of vehicles. Now number two on our list talks simply about the simplicity of selecting a battery pack for your specific radio controlled Traxxas vehicle. All the Traxxas vehicles have a recommended battery pack that you use and all the battery packs that you're going to use are 25C rated. Now the benefit of this is that you don't need to go and make any calculations to determine whether you would be better off with this C rating or that C rating. It becomes very simple since there's no C rating calculations that you as the consumer of a Traxxas vehicle have to do. You're simply locked into only using a 25C rated pack. You go with that recommended battery pack and that is going to perform the best for your specific radio control vehicle. Anyone who's experienced to some level or degree within the hobby knows that this hobby is not so straightforward. There's a big learning curve to really understanding all the differences in radio controlled electric brushless power systems. This just adds another layer of complexity if you had to go and select a C rating for your ready to run radio controlled Traxxas vehicle. Eliminating this step just makes it that much more simple for you and don't forget it makes makes it a lot more simple for the guys at Traxxas to only have to stock and support one line of C rated battery packs. And the last reason that we have to talk about for today is the fact that there is no set standard for C ratings in the RC industry. If you were to look at all the different battery manufacturers out there and look at their process on how they actually derive and come to the conclusion as to what C rating to put on their battery pack, you would notice that they can be quite significantly different from one another. And because of this, this is one reason Traxxas decides to stick to the 125 C rated battery batteries for their entire product line. Now Traxxas recommends that you don't go and take their 25C rated battery packs and compare that up against a 40C battery pack of another manufacturer. And the reason is exactly what we just covered. That 40C rated battery pack from another manufacturer versus the Traxxas 25C rating can be completely different in terms of performance in the opposite way that you may expect. That 40C battery pack has the opportunity to perform at a lesser extent than the Traxxas 25C rated battery packs, which would be opposite of what the marketing or the advertising on the battery pack would suggest. And this comes down to that set standard within the RC industry. Now, my personal recommendation, if you do wish to compare battery packs of a different manufacturer, is to not just look at the C ratings of the battery pack. Take a look at what other people's opinions are of the performance of the battery pack. This could be 
be related to a specific battery being used in a radio control vehicle and producing a certain amount of heat. Or better yet, compare the internal resistance of one battery pack versus the battery pack that you're trying to compare against. Obviously, the battery with the lower internal resistance, provided that your test is a fair experiment, will prove to be the better performing battery. Ultimately, a battery that has the lowest amount of internal resistance will provide the highest amount of power, the most amount of reliability, as well as the least amount of heat output. All three of these things are exactly what we are looking for when it comes to choosing the best battery for our radio control vehicle. Well guys, that sums it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that I can see you in that next video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.